hi everyone in this video we will have a look at how actually our analog uh, reading and analog writing that means analog input and outputs are implemented in circuit wise because we studied the coding actually so now you have some um, acceptable level of knowledge <coughs> in the coding but you may not be aware of that connections and what actually happens in the in the hardware right so this video we will try to explain that to you <coughs> So let's get into the topic. Have a look at the diagram. You can see um, that the whole diagram at the like the, I mean not the written part, the diagram, the picture the, with the arrows uh, will explain you what we have done actually. So we take an analog input from a preset or variable resistor that is written on top uh, on the left side top, and uh, it that analog input goes to A0 of Arduino, and according to the analog input, we are giving an output on A1 of Arduino. And we see a resistor is connected to pin number A1. In the right side, you can see resistor 330 ohm. Along with that, we have connected an LED and we have ground that LED. So in that uh, videos, video number 23, where uh, the topic is somewhat like LED indica indicate indicator uh, to an analog input. So video number 23 in that uh, series, this diagram is actually uh, implemented, right? The coding for this particular diagram is implemented so after watching this video you can go to the video number 23 and have a look then you will get a complete idea of what actually happens i am sorry i didn't add this part of the video before that but still you can go to the video video number 23 and have a look <coughs> in this playlist and also uh, if you want to have more idea you can go to video number 20 where I, we take only the analog input part and serial read that value we serial print the value that means only the left side half we have done in video number 20 so after watching this uh, video you can go to video number 23 and also video number 20 okay so 23 this video is particularly su suitable for video number 23 and also i uh, prefer you to watch video video number 20 as well hope you got the point so since i am talking too much so let's get into the uh, topic so what actually is happening is as i said variable resistor arduino and uh, and then led led circuit okay so according to the variable resistors input we are going to give a particular output for the led uh, led resistor so uh, if you have already watched video number 23 that will be helpful to you so you already watched that one now you will watch this video and you will go back to the video number 23 and rewatch it then you will get a full clear idea about this then you don't need to worry about anything regarding to analog output and input right so let's get into the game game so i will zoom it first we will see the left side part okay so it is written preset or variable resistor <coughs> if you go to google if to and and google preset resistor okay preset resistor and then you will have a picture of what is uh, in this uh, diagram okay this variable resistors picture you will see so this is the variable resistor that you, you are so seeing that i assumed uh, where by where you can change the resistor value of this by uh, by doing some tuning right so variable resistor you can change the resistance of that resistor okay so variable resistor also we can say preset so search go to google and search preset resistor then you will get the point get the picture of this device actually okay so in this round device is that so inside this round device you can see a cross okay uh, i have darkened it the cross so th this is actually like a cut a cross cut inside so you can have a screwdriver or tester let's say a screwdriver you can put the screwdriver inside the cross and you can rotate the cross so i can i have drawn two directions r1 and r2 so you can either rotate it in r1 direction or in r2 direction so in the uh, and also remember there are three pins to this uh, variable resistor so the side two pins should goes to plus five of the arduino and ground of the arduino okay so that means this variable resistor is supplied with uh, 5 voltage actually so you can switch the terminal that is not a problem right you can give the 5 voltage to the downside terminal and ground to the top side terminal there, there is no problem and also you can see there's a middle pin that is going to the arduino a0 er, along with the arrow right so that means the middle pin is connected to a0 so the middle pin is the actual input pin to arduino or we can say the middle pin is the output put, pin of the variable resistor so now once you create the connection what you have to do is you have to put your screwdriver inside the cross and you have to rotate that so when you are rotating the screwdriver <coughs> the resistance value of the middle pin will change okay 
So when you change the resistance value of the middle pin, obviously the voltage value of the middle pin also change. Okay. So the whole voltage is 5 voltage. So but we are going to measure the voltage value from uh, ground to let's say ground to middle pin or the or let's say the middle pin's voltage. Okay, that goes to A0. So if you put your screwdriver inside the cross and if you rotate it in the R1 direction. So you can see the R1 right here. R1 direction, you will see the voltage in the middle pin will be increasing because you are rotating in the 5 voltage direction, the highest voltage direct direction, right? So that means resistor will increase, resistance will increase and voltage also increase. Okay. So this analog input value also will obviously increase because you know that concept, right? When we have high voltage, the high value we will have. When it is at the topmost point, the R1 direction is at the topmost point, that means in the 5 voltage, then the middle pin's voltage is also will be 5 voltage, okay. So that means A0 will give you 1023, you know that. If you rotate the cross in R2 rotation, uh, then we will see the middle pin's voltage value comes down, okay, because you are rotating in the ground's direction now. So if it is in the topmost of R2 direction, the middle pin's voltage value will be zero and then a zero uh, analog pin uh, analog value will be zero so if you don't understand 1023 and a zero analog value zeros you have to go and watch the previous videos especially the video number 20 okay so i believe you have watched the videos properly and you have come to this point then this makes sense actually right so even after watching this go to video number 23 watch and come back here uh, come back to the next video that's fine so that's fine right so this is understandable right so you actually change the variable value of the variable resistor that that actually measured from the middle pin and uh, <coughs> by rotating two directions you can either increase the value or decrease the value that's come to analog uh, pin okay a0 you can actually create the connection and see the concept so if you can print the values that is totally fine right so what we are going to do is we are not going to print the value we are i mean apart from printing the value what we are going to do is we are going to give an led indication so when this uh, when this uh, A0 value, the, the middle pin value is increasing, LED's brightness is going to be increasing. Or oh, let's say when you are rotating in the R1 direction, that means increasing voltage direction, LED's voltage is going to be increased. When you are rotating the other side, that means LED's power or LED's illumination will be increased, brightness will be increased. When you are rotating the other side, R2, that means voltage is falling down. Then the and then our output indicator voltages, indicate LED's brightness also should go down so we know using analog right analog output we can uh, increase and decrease the uh, leds uh, whatever we call voltage uh, brightness actually okay that thing we saw in the previous videos if you didn't watch it go watch and come back okay so how we can connect this a zero's input to the leds output right so basically what we do is you, we connect the led to another a pin so we connect the led to pin number a1 okay so A0 is an input, A1 is an output. So with the resistor, can LED and LED have been grounded. It is that simple, right? So now, how we are going to give that A0's input to A1's output? So by coding wise, we know the concept because uh, uh, in the last uh, one or two videos, so that video number 23, we have done this. I'm sorry, video number 23. We have done this. So you have to go and have a look or watch that one. Then you will understand how we have done that because we have uh, because a zero the problem is you can read the a zero value and you can immediately implement the uh, replace the value to a one right but that is not going to work because input value will go up to 1023 and output value should be up to maximum of 255 right because those things also we saw in the last few videos if you don't understand go to the last video especially video number 23 and come back okay that's fine even the last video uh, videos after that also would make sense i hope right so this is the algorithm for that the, what I have written here you can see this we are taking the a0 read input right uh, this is what we have done it in video number 23 that means the actual coding for this system okay so what we are doing is we are taking the input from a0 we are reading the input and we, we can serial print the input that is not the problem and we create an equation that can convert this 1024 units input into 255 units output okay so you may remember that uh, I created an equation like x plus 1 uh, by 4 uh, and um, I think minus 1 things like that right I don't exa exactly remember the equation 
So then I, I assign to the, uh, that, that value to, the, to another variable called y and we pass the y value in the output. So we create an equation to convert, make this conversion happen, whatever I am showing in the screen. And after that, that uh, converted value or converted the, uh, that uh, final value, that means input, input value will be a0, right, a0's value. And the end of the equation, the output value will be assigned to the, that, that means after the calculation, the left side value will be a, uh, assigned to a1, right, because after the conversion, the left whatever that uh, value should be assigned to a variable and it should be giving to a1 output obviously right so the results of the equation will be passed to the a1 analog output the new value so then 1023 will be converted into 255 and the 255 will be giving the analog output and the led will be in the maximum brightness so when you decrease the brightness when you rotate the uh, uh, variable resistor other way around then again this equation and everything happens and we pass the value to analog output and led's brightness will decrease when you increase LED's, LED's brightness will increase when you rotate the other way around LED's brightness will, will decrease so this is what actually happens so this is the scenario of video number 23 actually we are taking an analog input and we are giving an LED uh, what you call LED indication or LED bright, brightness change or LED fading according to the analog input so according to uh, we also we can say we are having a fine-tuned switch to control the LED's brightness in a beautiful way so now what you have to do is go to the video number 23 watch it again you should have already watched it and you have to watch this and again you have to go and watch that video if you didn't watch that video now go and watch the video and again come back to this video then you will understand what actually happens so that's all guys um, please know this video will make sense only if you follow uh, other videos up to now okay so i hope you are doing good um, go watch the video number 23 and come back to this video or the next video of this so please consider subscribing us i will catch you in the next video until then have a great day ahead.